Hey guys, your boy Eli, it's possible. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about cultivating energy and building momentum. The reason why I'm making this video is because within the past two to three years, I've been really had to focus on this a lot. And recently, I've been got better at it, but I'm just gonna say the things that I've learned and just my experience with it I guess so to start I'll say I haven't uploaded a video in three weeks the reason why is because of this exact thing I um, if you look on my other video my last one that I uploaded three weeks ago uh, I <laughs> went on a vacation and when I got back you know I uh, just was went straight to the gym and shit and me and my friend we made a challenge of who can go to 200 pounds first because he started at 250 I started at 150 we started at the same time now I am um, <laughs> now I'm 185 or 190 I'm not for sure I haven't weighed myself in a little bit so I might be 190 now but last time I weighed myself I was 185 he is um, 215, so we're 15 pounds apart each. And, um, you know, in the past three weeks, I've just been working hard to put on more weight. When it was like three weeks ago, I was like 170 or something, though, when I got back. But besides the fact, we I've been working hard to try to beat him to 200, just a friendly competition. In the pursuit of all that, I kind of been psyched on the videos, forgot, not really forgot, but just like put it to the side. And it's kind of like when you do stuff like that, then you can put something to the side for one day and then one day becomes two and two days becomes three and three days becomes three weeks, <laughs> you know? So it's like, that's one example, I guess. There's another example with, I'd say you're eating healthy or whatever, and you give yourself one cheat day, and then you do it a second day, and that two cheat days becomes your whole diet's over. Or you say you're gonna start going to bed at 10 o'clock, you start going to bed at 10 o'clock, you watch a movie till 12 for one day, then you do it again for the second day, and then you're not going to bed at 12 o'clock anymore. The gist is, is, um. You need to catch yourself quick on things because when you're building momentum and building energy, it's easy to go backwards. Um, and usually when you do go backwards, it's in with that two day thing. Like you can give yourself maybe one day to um, fuck off or whatever. But if you catch yourself on that second day, then you're fucked. <laughs> and that's just from personal experience, you know, that I've seen is like, and it might not go like that, but it's like, maybe it's not days, but maybe it's like, if you have a schedule, you make a video every Thursday. And for one Thursday, you're like, whatever, I can't do it that day. And then the next Thursday comes around and you don't do it again. Then it's like, you know what I mean? The same thing. But basically it's just, you have one strike, the second strike, you're pretty fucked. And then if you go three, bro, then I don't know. Like if you came back from that, I'm honestly, I'd be pretty surprised unless you know it's like after just like some assessment like you really have to look at yourself and be like okay what am I doing now um so cultivating energy is hard it takes it takes consistency it takes discipline and it takes you being able to analyze yourself make sure you don't drift and you have to really want what you want to be able to like do it every single time but it's really worth it you know because if you're doing something that you care about like say if it's music like I'm just saying things I like like music making videos working out then when you build that accountability when you go then you start seeing results and those results make you want to put in more and when you put in more you see more results and then you go further and further and it snowballs and eventually you get somewhere that you thought you could never be or you could never see but when you do the opposite and you let your negative habits or behaviors or just not having accountability, then 
you could build something and you could see it diminish, bleh, diminish pretty quickly and that unmotivates you and eventually after you haven't done something in three weeks, like I haven't recorded this video in three weeks, then you just quit. Like to be honest, even recording this video, I've had to record for the past couple of days and scrap the videos and just do it to practice because I was rusty and I still am rusty from not recording for more than three weeks to be honest because the video I recorded before was like a week old so it's almost been four weeks and you get out of the flow of things and once you get out of the flow of things then it gets it's hard to get back in and also it's discouraging because you're like I put in all that effort I wasted it so what's the point so basically, I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to go in circles, but yeah, watch yourself. Don't let yourself drift. Um, I like the term drifting or drifter because it's in a book. One of my favorite books, uh, bleh, the Interview with the Devil: Secret to Freedom. Interview with the Devil: Secrets to Freedom and Success by Napoleon Hill. It's not literally the devil. It's metaphorical. It just basically talks about how we undercut ourselves and how society has like basically potholes that get us and how we, you can see around that different stuff um my favorite book honestly uh to this date so going on if you're watching the video a few years later maybe it's not but it really helped me and influenced me a lot i'll leave the link for that book in the description below it's free it's an audio book uh, I don't think that they actually even have physical copies, but <laughs> not trying to be so ADHD. That's what I mean. Like I'm rusty right now is basically, yeah, you can cultivate energy and you can get somewhere that you never thought you could be. You can throw all your stuff away just by messing up for two days and those two days turning into 20 or you can cultivate energy and bad habits too. And you can ruin your life. Watch yourself, make sure you don't drift, make sure you don't put energy in the wrong things, put energy in the right things, and you can create a life of your dreams. It is possible to do anything, but it takes manifestation, it takes <laughs> and, um, cultivation, and it takes um, just going, I'm thinking of what the fuck I even wrote down, because I had three things written down. It was, I didn't even have manifestation written down, but it takes just going forward and going forward with consistency and the right habits and the right things and the things you care about. Um, I don't know what else to leave to this video, I guess. So I'm going to end it with this. It's kind of random, but it is something to do with my life recently. I'm not going to go super in depth, I guess, but you hear the background music. It's from Berserk. Really good show. Um, I watched all the 24 episodes of the 1987, I'm pretty sure, adaptation of the Golden Age arc. Uh, right now I'm reading the manga, so it's an anime. If you guys aren't into that, I don't know. I would still recommend to check it out. When I was younger, Naruto really influenced me a lot for never giving up and always believing in yourself. Then Shippuden really made me see a lot of different things too how like naruto always changed his enemies into his friends berserk is really dope because at this point in my life i'm 21 i don't believe in religion i don't follow any religion i really just for me myself uh i try to create my own purpose and for me my purpose is like what i would say is to help people or to make the world a better place than it was before i got here uh berserk is kind of about this dude named guts he goes throughout his life a lot of really messed up things happen to him um but throughout it all he continues to have the will to live and he doesn't really know his purpose but i don't know he kind of finds it or at least he just finds beauty in life i guess or like whatever I, i'm i'm not gonna like summarize it 100 percent because that's probably the shittiest summarization of berserk that was ever told but i'll just say it has a lot of good philosophy in it with like nietzsche and other stuff i guess i don't know you should check it out i'll leave a uh, the link to the first episode in the description below 
And if you like the soundtrack in the background, I'll leave a just link in the description to that too. My the give me slack for this being the first video I recorded in four weeks. Um, again, it being kind of whatever. I'm a little everywhere, but yeah. Watch your energy. Protect your energy. Cultivate your energy. Don't let people mess with your energy. Um, anything that's negative or taking from you, cut it off. Put towards your dreams and you can make them come true. And I believe that all of us have the possibility to become great. I know that we do. It's not even just a belief. Anybody that has ever done anything, mostly I started out as a nobody. And a nobody being able to do something just proves that any nobody can do something. And that in reality, we aren't nobodies, but we're what we tell ourselves that we are and we choose that we are through our actions. That's our character. Your character is the role you play in life. And that is the sum of the crystallization of what I just said, your actions, your all the different stuff. All right. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm wishing you blessings. I'm wishing you positivity. I'm wishing you happiness. And I'm wishing, <laughs> wishing you, um, I'm wishing you fucking abundance and whatever. I, I forgot what I was going to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like. It would help out a lot. Leave a positive comment too. If you didn't, let me know why so I can improve. And if you want to, I guess you can dislike too. Um, but all right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.